So here we go, guys. Um, let's start out with every beard is different. Uh, it does de depend on your face. It does depend on how round your face is. Depends on on your nose, your mustache, uh, your neck, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna give you just a little bit of the basic stuff. Just go ahead and get started. But if you are growing a beard, do not give up. Okay, do not give up. I know the first stages, like the first two weeks, three weeks, is the worst because you're just so itchy. You're just like, oh. Oh my gosh, you know, it just looks so weird, but it's not. You just gotta be patient, and before you know it, um, it will be pretty good. As for me, though, um, since my beard, you know, grows a little different compared to other people, I know some people have full on beards like me. I'm just a little patchy here. I used to be a little patchy here because before I used to shape, I used to line up my line all the way up here and I learned that you know it kind of got to go a lot further than that see and then you go on this side it's just just patchy right here uh, and it's just uh, so different on both sides it's like my cheeks have like a mind of their own but uh, everybody's different so pretty much the basic stuff is you gotta keep it moisturized you gotta make sure you deep condition it you just gotta make sure you, uh, you deep condition it when you're in the shower uh, just go ahead and wash your hair wash your face and whatever you condition your hair with just make sure you condition it and just leave your conditioner in inside pretty much the whole time until you're ready to go out I know it seems irritating and all that but you need to really keep it in there because your mustache hair and your beard hair is way different from your from your hair on the top and it's just so so different so pretty much how you want to grow it out um i don't know if you can see it but you kind of want to go from from right this angle right here you kind of want to start from there and you want to go straight straight down I know some people can't really grow well, I should say people but some men can't grow beards so high just because you know usually fades by the time you get up here but if you can just start from here and just go all the way down and you kind of want to go towards either your tip of your lip or just just quite lower since mine grows a little different on both sides i kind of gotta go like just a little bit lower which i really don't like that but kind of gotta do what i gotta do and also when you are lining it up just be very careful and just start from here and just go straight down because you don't want to like lose too much of your cheekbone and your face and all that because it'll take away from everything else so once you got that you want to go ahead and straight from the bottom of your ear you want to go all the way down and then you just go ahead and line it up from there if you want a really full full on um, beard then you don't want to do your Adam's apple you can take two fingers, and you go from your Adam's apple, and you want it to be at least two fingers from your Adam's apple, and that's where you can start your lineup and then go go behind. And just make sure that you are right here from the bottom of your, what is it, your earlobe, you know, <laughs> or something. Uh, just go ahead and go down, and you can turn all the way around. You don't want to go too far back, that, you know, unless you want that that whole rugged look. Um, I kind of like in between more of the rugged and kind of clean it up at the same time, but you know that's just me. And if you want that epic mustache, just let it go wild. So just let it go wild. I know there's gonna be some times where you're gonna have. It's a lot of hair sticking up and you're going to want to trim those. Do not trim those just because you're always going to have to go back and roll back 
and then sooner or later all these other hairs from your mustache are going to you know, be so long you just have to constantly trim them. The best advice I could give you is if you want to grow an awesome beard is that do not touch it for at least two to three months, okay? I know there's gonna be times where you're gonna want to trim, trim, trim. I know there's like sometimes there's little, you know, hairs that stick out, and you just want to go ahead and trim those. Do not touch them whatsoever. You do that, you're gonna go, you're gonna go just a little bit here, you're gonna go a little bit here, and before you know it, you're pretty much gonna want to shave it all off. So I suggest if you just do not touch it whatsoever. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, it's gonna be very, very well worth it. Um, as far as now, what I'm using to keep my beard, you know, moisturized and just tamed and all that stuff, I am using uh, this tea tree oil. I actually got it from one of my friends, and um, I just used that. I know there's a lot of a lot of beard oils out there, but I'm kind of nervous to try out new stuff just because um, this is what I trust right now and I know for you some out there that um, don't laugh I know that uh, this is pretty crazy but it's some good stuff this right here you can get pretty much anywhere CVS Rite Aid uh, they have ones pretty cheap but that stuff that's what I use to shampoo and condition my beard and it just makes it so much healthier. I don't know the stuff in it, but it just makes it so, so good and very well, well written. You might want to, you know, just twist it like here and there. Like you see, mine is pretty long. <sighs> this is uh, I'm out of breath already. But what you don't want to do, just go ahead and leave it alone. Just let it breathe. Just let it do its own thing. Because your beard will speak for yourself. Like, I kid you not. I know there's going to be a lot of times where people just want to touch it. They just want to rub it. It's just like, uh, like back up. Um, and it gets annoying just because once they you know, move it out of place, it just feels so weird. And you just kind of got to comb it back through. And... You don't want to do that. Um, if you do get those those hairs that do stick up and they just don't want to go down, I do recommend that you don't touch them, but I do sometimes have those hairs that just stick up and just don't go down at all. But just use these little, these little scissors, you know, and just trim that one and just leave it alone and walk away. Because if you do, if you don't, you can just keep going back and forth, back and forth, trim, 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 and you don't want to do that. That's not cool at all. So guys, I just recommend that keep it moist, keep it simple. Try to stay away from shampoos that have a uh, perfume and all that like other stuff, you know, cause you actually do smell that all day and it actually gives me a bit of a headache. So I do recommend uh, that shampoo I showed you and at least some kind of oil. Even I use the tea tree oil. That's always good, but if you have um, all this stuff for a long time, I was using shea butter lotion. That was good just because like the fact that I just put it, I love it to put it on my face, so I'll blend it in to my beard, which makes it nice and moist and, and really healthy. And um, you know, just don't give up. Do not give up whatsoever because the first couple of months or weeks is like. <laughs> It's the worst. It's it's pretty bad. Um, you, you just want to give up and just go and trim it, and just some people just line it up. Just get that full full beard on, and you you you'll be great. Like seriously, no joke. And you'll be happy, and before you know it, you you're never gonna want to go back whatsoever. So this is just a little beard tutorial. Uh, I can give you guys more stuff in my next video. This is just a little something just to kind of you know motivate you guys to go and. Uh, Stay strong, keep that beard, beard life going, you know, and it's it's pretty great. It's pretty it does wonders. But um thanks guys. See you later.